So let me share another one with you, uh, Jason. Whatever Amazon does, you not only have to embrace it, but also have some faith. This is what I'm talking about. When I say faith, I'm talking about faith in Amazon doing the right thing eventually, even if it may appear to be the wrong thing, and then set your operation up accordingly. So this is what happened to me. I was, in my days, there was no private label. So I was reseller. And of course, you're playing the buy box. And being an engineer, I built this tremendous machinery that gathered data, applied algorithms, decided how many pieces to sell, at what price to sell, to whom, and then therefore turn around and buy how many pieces from whom. I mean, it was the whole thing was fully That's automated. Awesome. So... And there was, and those days there was, there were no reprices, no nothing. So, yeah. so I'm doing this whole thing. But even today, the, what I built doesn't exist because it has to read your inventory and then automate so many calls. And mm. so, anyway, one day I discover something. So, of course, we're reading the buy box. Who is in the buy box and what is their price? And therefore, we are looking at if we can beat that price and then also sell, still make profit. And if we make profit, then capture it. But we didn't necessarily need to reduce price. We we would, in fact, capture by increasing price also. So this uh -huh. thing's discovered. But anyway, so what happens is one day I discover that we are not winning the buy box, even though we should. And I study and study and study. And this one seller discovered a loophole. Because what was happening was Amazon would look at the item price and the shipping fee that the seller charged. And then combining the two and looking at the total price and then comparing it to other sellers. And then of, if it was competitive and the seller were, had good performance, it would give the buy box. So that was the algorithm. It still is the algorithm. Uh, but this seller discovered that the, the algorithm used the standard shipping fee. Mm. And you know what they did? They didn't offer standard shipping. They offered expedited shipping only mm. and they charge something like seven eight dollars for it so because the standard shipping was not available what was being displayed was zero shipping but as soon as you hit buy and you go to checkout, it will automatically add the exp expedited shipping because standard wasn't available. And of yeah. course, they were winning the buy box, even though they were charging, you know, much higher. Right. So I discovered this. And this is where the faith comes in. So I reported it to Amazon. I said, look, there is a problem with your algorithm. This is causing... You know, this seller, so I, I captured the screenshots, everything, and I documented, this is what's going on, and you need to fix it. They came back and said, this is website behavior. We can't do anything. So I said to myself, you know what? We're not going to change our ways. Amazon is going to fix this because this is wrong. And when they fix it, everybody is going to take a hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up our operation exactly as this seller did. Yeah, sure. But at the same time, to compete with them, I'm going to read data that will allow me to compete with him because we were simply not reading the data. Uh, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so about six weeks later, one day my sales go through the roof. I wake up in the morning and I see orders piled up <laughs> because Amazon realized and fixed the, the hole. And, and in the process, of course, everybody who was playing the buy box game, they just, they just got 
slaughtered. Yeah. And because I was ready and my system was there, it was all. So, you know, having faith in Amazon will do the right thing. It, it often helps, which kind of goes to the mindset also. So I couldn't agree more. I, I, I do believe that as well now more than ever. Um, especially in the last couple of years, it, 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 you know, they, they've got a lot of good, hardworking people. They're overworked. They can't get all the work that's on their plate done in a given day, because as big as Amazon is, they're probably the most understaffed company on the planet for the amount of business that they do and the amount of work that goes into, to, to getting, you know, getting the GMV sales numbers that they do every year, which are just enormous, more than half of half of online on sales here in the United States. And they do, they do always stumble on typically the right thing. And so I, I like what you said. I'm, I'm totally agreeing with you, Nick, um, pay attention to it, learn the algorithm, figure out a way to work it to your advantage, but also be prepared for not if, but when Amazon does the right thing and corrects it. Yeah. Yeah. 